Hello mate. In this video we're going to look at one last little trick that we can do with our game engine and then I'm going to release you to the wild and let you do your thing. So what we need to do is we need to add some kind of dialogue menu so that when we click on a character in the game even if there's no option for something in that chapter and sequence we can still give the player multiple options of things that we want to talk about. Before we get started though, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon, that really helps me out. And of course an even big thank you to members and patrons, your names will be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of this video. If you are interested in supporting the channel, you can visit the Patreon which is linked in the description down below. You can become a member of the channel by hitting the join button next to the subscribe button. And of course, check out the new merch line that's going to be awesome i've already had plenty of customers um on the store for that so don't be left out on that one anyway first thing we need to do is we need to come into our variable defines and what we need to do is create a list which is going to contain all of our default options for this character so in this case we've got the mum character we're going to create a list of options for you to say to her and we can append to this at any point in the game so as other options become available you can simply append them to the list so what we're going to do is we're going to say default and we'll just say mom dialogue and then we'll just create that as a list like so square brackets and then in the init variables we need to actually add some values to this so what we're going to do is we're just going to drop in that there and then we just need to give it some options now these are going to be menu options so what we need to do is create um, similar to this computer menu variable that we've created up here we need to create two options so what we're going to do is we're going to firstly we're going to say something like never mind something that you're going to say to the character if you actually don't want to speak to them if you changed your mind and then we're just going to put end in there now we don't actually have a computer menu in this game so we could realistically delete that if we want but we just used it for that demonstration purposes so now we've got that option in there let's give it another option so we're going to copy this line we're just going to paste another one in there and then we're just going to say uh, i don't know something like um you look nice today mom and then this one can just simply be option you can call this anything really whatever whatever the um the option is you want to call so for me i'm going to create a cable a, a, a cable a label called uh nice today uh zero one just in case we have multiple characters that we want to give that compliment to or we could just call this mom compliment let's do that let's just give it call this um mom underscore compliment underscore zero one and then that gives us options for adding those later on so now we can come into our game structure and if you remember we've got all of our script files in here we've got events here clickables repeats character defaults now what we can do in here is we can simply create a label paste that there and then we can say we can add an image there or whatever i'm just going to say for the sake of argument right now we're going to say notification equals true and then we'll just have her saying i can spell sweetheart correctly thank you sweetheart and then we'll just do a return because we're in a notification screen so we haven't got any additional images displayed on the image you can you can have this label contain whatever content you want you can have your menu options the one that we just chose here so we've got this one here you can put whatever you want in there the character the choice of what you're going to say to the character is entirely up to you um this is just an a a demonstration of what you could actually do if you so chose so now we've done that what we need to do is we need to change the contents of our default click so we're going to come back into our uh, clickable character defaults there and where it says mum blank what we need to do is change that and what we're going to do is we are going to add some content we're going to add a menu here 
that gives us multiple options of what we need to say to the mum character. So what we need to do is we need to create a loop to start with. So we're going to remove this image from here, control X, and we're actually gonna change this. We're gonna paste it in there and we're gonna paste this into here as well. So now you get this image if you complement her, but when you first click on her, what we're going to get is we're gonna say, uh, we just create a variable called talking to mom equals true. And then we'll say while, and we can copy and paste that variable there, like there, like so. And then we just add a colon there. So now whatever we put in here will remain in this loop whilst we are talking to mom like that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to put some text on the screen. So we're going to say uh, renpy.say, open that and then because it's going to be the main character whom we do not currently have defined so let's go ahead and do that as well we've got characters here let's just kind of copy this and we'll just change this to say mc so that we know it's the main character and then we'll just change that to me you can change that name to whatever you want we can just put in some random numbers there so that we get a slightly different image and an image we just uh, we're actually going to remove that for now because we don't have side images or that character. So now we've got that character defined, we can come back into our character defaults file and we can send our person saying this is going to be us or the main character. And then we're going to add some text and we'll just say uh, what should I say? And realistically, you could change this. If you wanted it to be the mum questioning, you could just say like uh, M there, and then you could just say, uh, what's up, question mark, like that. If you wanted to, it's entirely up to you. And then we're gonna change the interact to false, because the menu is going to be coming afterwards in the next line of code. So now we've got a bit of text on the screen. Now we're gonna put our menu. So we're going to, on here and we're going to say uh, conversation outcome that's just not a, a keyword it's a variable we're just creating for the sake of this um, conversation basically and then we're going to say rempi we need to put an equals in there silly me and then we're going to say rempi dot display underscore menu and then we're going to put in the variable that we created in our variable defines there. So we need to copy that, control C, and then we're gonna paste that in here. And what's gonna happen now is Rempi is gonna run through this list and it's going to create a menu of options depending on what's in the list. So provided that you've got a list of tuples, i.e. you've got a list of the two, uh, two items, which is a, a, let's go back here, let's go back to our variable defined. So as long as each list item contains two strings, a text string and then another text string, bear in mind that the second text string, if you want it to be the item that's gonna get you out of the menu, put end. If you want it to be a label of something else that's gonna be called, then you put the name of the label in there. That's how we're gonna work this. So for every action that you put in the menu, create a label for that action. You don't want this list to contain tons and tons and tons of stuff right at the beginning because as you go through the game, you can append, you can change, you can remove items from this list as much as you want. But right at the beginning, you don't want a list of 20 actions because that's just going to be unnecessarily complicated or unnecessarily over the top for what we're trying to do here. But just having a couple of options of things that you can say to the character to start with and then perhaps as you get further down the line maybe you have to say a password to a character or something like that you can add those options in here um that's fine but we're just doing this really simple as a way of you can have a second action that you can do just to say well maybe you accidentally misclicked on the character or whatever so we come back here and we've got this here so now we're going to say if I mean we can copy this equals end like that so if we've clicked on the option that returns end to this variable then all we're going to do is we're going to say uh, talking to mum uh, we'll just copy this line here control c paste this here 
false. And then we can have her saying, uh, so you've said never mind, and she's just said, oh, okay, sweetheart. Full stop, fine. And then we're going to add an else statement. So we're going to say, if it isn't end, then what we're going to do is we're going to call the expression and we're going to call the expression of this variable. So I see control B like that there. And that's all we're going to do there. Unless you want to uh, jump out of the menu at this point, entirely up to you. Personally, I would I would make the call yourself because you may, you may want to stay in this menu. You may not want to. Um, I think I am going to leave it in in case we want to have a multi-layered conversation. We can have uh, another variable here if we wanted to a check code, but that's fine. So what we can do is now after this, we're going to go to uh, simply go to return. Actually, that's it. That's all we need to do for this code. And we can test this code out once we've double checked everything is OK. So this is all good. We're going to come back to our variable defines. Uh, in our variable defines, we've got, ah, yes, we've got a deliberate mistake there. <laughs> we need to change this. We need to add append to both of these lines. Otherwise, we're going to end up looking very silly. Append. Uh, I've done that wrong, haven't I? Good Lord. Finger trouble today. Append. There we go. Now we can save that. So those two variables, both two strings separated with commas. That's good. Character defaults. That's all good. And oh, oh no, actually, did I tell a lie. I missed something there. And we've got an if statement with a single equal. So we add the single equals in there. Another silly typo by me. There we go. So now when we run our code, we should be able to test this out. So we can click on the mum character. The first one, remember that we've got that we're in the sequence, so it's going to give us an event that's going to happen, but we can come out of that. And now when we click on them, we've got our options available here. So we can say, and uh, you look nice today. We can say, never mind, and then we can come back into it. And then as we click on it, it goes into that label and does what we want it to do. Now, because I haven't put a uh, end loop in there, we have the options that come up again. Um, looking at it, what I might actually do is put talking to mom equals false in there so that it ends the conversation once we've or well, we could it ends the conversation and calls the label at the same time so that when it comes back in it'll just jump out of that label like so so that's really it as far as adding little bits and pieces to this engine is concerned um feel free to have a play experiment use the tricks that we talked about in this lesson and the previous one i'm really interested to see what you come up with i will add a download link to the full engine in the on the website so that you guys can download it and which will be at thundorn.com under the rempi downloads but i really encourage you to not just download the engine i really encourage you to follow the lesson plan learn what each section does it will give you a much better understanding of what's happening in the code and it will enable you to get the best out of it. Thanks very much for watching this guys. I hope you found it useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves. All right. Bye bye.